there was a question in the comments about my intermittent fasting video where uh, the question was, uh, what do you break your fast with? Uh, so you had a 16 hour fast, you've had a dinner at 6 p.m. and you're going to have a breakfast at 10 a.m. And uh, the question was, what do you break your fast with? Uh, it depends on depends on what you're trying to do actually. So if if it's uh, if it's weight loss, if it's fat loss that you're trying to achieve, and you don't have any other medical condition and you're not too stressed, um, you can you can further prolong the effect of the fast because you're already been fasting for sixteen hours and you're starting to burn fat quite well. At that point, if you want to continue burning that fat. Um, you can increase the amount of fat. You can prevent the fat burning from stopping or reducing. If you keep the breakfast uh, low carb, if you reduce the carbohydrates in the breakfast. Uh, so, for example, you can have eggs and vegetables or you can have eggs and nuts. Um, anything without grains in it, anything without fruits in it. Um, so... Um, meat and eggs or meat and nuts, eggs and vegetables or meat and vegetables. Any of those low-carb breakfasts are the best idea if you want to continue to burn fat um, even after you have breakfast. So basically, you'll be in good ketosis after the end of 16 hours of fasting and you'll prolong that ketosis by not consuming any carbs for your first meal of the day. Now, this works very well for somebody who's stre not stressed and very relaxed and, and is trying to lose weight. But if you're already somebody who's under a lot of stress and you try and prolong that uh, uh, the ketosis by uh, avoiding carbs in the morning, um, it'll work well for a few days. But if you continue to uh, push yourself with the fasting followed by a low carb breakfast you can put you can start to spike your cortisol you can start to put a load on your thyroid and it can cause trouble so it really depends on what you're trying to do and where you are in your current lifestyle so skipping carbs in the morning after a prolonged fast is useful for somebody who's not very stressed uh, but if it might backfire if you are stressed already and you're fasting and you're exercising hard and you're uh, trying to cut back on carbs you can have a little more carbs than usual if you are break if you are having an intense bout of exercise just before you break your fast so you can go out and do something for 20 minutes where you do a lot of resistance training with very little rest or you can do interval training for 10 or 15 minutes and then go into breakfast and there you can have a little bit of carbs because you've already emptied most of the glucose if you worked hard enough you would have emptied most of the glucose in your liver and you would have emptied most of the glucose in your uh, muscles so this will so so these carbs that you take after intense exercise when you're breaking the fast might not knock you out of ketosis immediately so that is another option so uh, that's my advice about what to break your fast with after a overnight fast. Uh, if you've got questions, ask them in the comments. I'll try and make another follow-up video. Thank you.